Hey, what's up? In this video, I want to show you guys this tool called WinUtil, full form Windows Utility. In my opinion, this is probably the best and safest Windows optimizer. This tool is actually made by really popular tech YouTuber called Chris Titus, whom I also follow and watch the videos and all that. But you know what? I actually never tried this tool because I thought that it doesn't have enough options or enough, you know, tweaks that I could use, but I was wrong. This is actually, as I said again, really good and the best Windows optimizer. And this is actually my main machine. I have already used this to optimize my Windows. And I want to show you guys how to use this tool and what options to choose and why and everything. And I'm going to use the fresh installed Windows 11 to show you guys how to use this tool plus, you know, how effective it is and all that, you know. So first of all, uh, this is the official GitHub page for this tool. And to use this tool, uh, you need one of these commands, a uh, simple way or by executing. It's completely free, open source. So copy this first command. And now we need to run the PowerShell as administrator. You can look for PowerShell or just run the terminal as administrator. And now paste that command in here and hit enter and it will do some magic actually it will download the you know the tool itself and uh, launch the tool all right this is the tool now let's go through all these settings first option we have the install where you can install essential apps like browsers tools utilities and all that like seven zips and everything you know what i'm trying to say here so it packs almost all the essential tools that you need really useful if you want to quickly download all the essential tools all right next we have the tweaks this is the most important part of this tool we have essential tweaks advanced tweaks it also has the presets actually if you click on one of these options at the top like for example desktop it's gonna select recommended uh, tweaks for the desktop if you have laptop let's say you select the laptop or maybe you want to apply minimum tweaks you can uh, select the minimal so what i recommend you guys to do is select the desktop option and then also select the first option create restore point this is for your safety if in case anything goes wrong while using this tool you can restore your system back to normal all right so it just creates a restore point for you and i want you guys to uncheck the disable game dvr option in my experience it actually makes full screen games lag a little bit i was playing the valorant game after applying these tweaks i noticed that whenever i try to switch in between the desktop and game the game is in full screen there is a lag plus a black screen for almost five seconds it didn't took long for me to actually find out that it was uh, because of the i disabled game dvr maybe that won't happen with all the games but i think for the most games the game dvr should be enabled now let's check on the advanced tweaks so first option set display for performance i don't actually use this option so i'm gonna uncheck this Again, I don't dual boot, so I'm gonna leave the uh, second option too. I do actually disable the USC, which you can also disable from the uh, control panel. And I check the remove OneDrive because I don't use it. And that's pretty much it for the tweaks. These are my preferences. And for the right click menu, I actually use the, yeah, right here, the shell. Uh, this gives you really good right click menu plus many extra features in right click menu now it's time to apply the tweaks by simply clicking on run tweaks actually one more thing uh, there is a dns selection here you can actually also change dns server cloudflare is pretty good for me so i'm gonna select the cloudflare and run the tweak once you run the tweak you can also see what's happening in the background in uh, the powershell 
the app itself doesn't show anything actually <laughs> so you actually have to look into the powershell so in powershell it will say tweaks are finished that means everything went well now we need to actually restart the system to properly apply all these tweaks let's optimize this even further then we will restart the system right so uh, to the right side actually we have customized preferences options enabled dark theme which we can also enable from the settings and you can also disable the bing search in a start menu so let's disable that you can also disable the mouse acceleration which is also recommended if you're into gaming you know if you do game and all that and you can also create a shortcut to this tool so you don't have to uh, open the powershell again and again whenever you want to use this now let's go into the config option here i don't actually do anything but you can find some really useful tools and fixes uh, like for example uh, under fixes we have uh, let's say remove adobe creative cloud option you know how hard it is to uh, uninstall creative cloud from the system so this will also help and uh, if there is a system corruption you can scan for system corruption you can reset your network if there is a problem and all that and we have some shortcuts for the legacy windows panels let's say region settings and all that and in features you can enable and disable many features which you can also enable and disable from the turn windows features on and off options okay actually let me show you <laughs> turn windows feature on off yeah so that's that but some of the features are actually not in the system so let's say for example enable legacy f8 boot recovery and all that now let's go to the updates section this is also really useful here you can control the windows updates default out of the box settings which means you'll get all the windows updates as soon as they are available what i actually recommend is uh, select the second option if you want the windows update to not break your system you know sometimes windows updates can be really buggy and can also break the system so if you select the second option uh, that won't happen to your system because it will delay the feature updates by two years and install security updates for four days after release there is also a downside that you won't be getting any feature updates for two years all right but don't worry you can go and select the default options and this will make updates regular or you can also disable uh, all the windows updates altogether, which is not recommended for the security reasons so second option is the way to go if you want the solid windows experience <laughs> right and lastly this is actually a recently added tool this section alone actually deserves a whole another video because using this option you can make your own windows 11 light or debloated windows 11 iso like for example the tiny 11 uh, really popular you know windows 11 light iso so something like that maybe i'll do a, another video on how to create a windows 11 light using this tool plus i'll do the test and all, everything all right we are actually done yeah these are my preferences for when utils and now we need to restart our system even though this didn't say that we need to restart but we need to restart our system now once we restart our system your windows should feel much smoother and better <laughs> all right if you go into the task manager you should see less processes running in the background and less cpu and ram consumption actually i should have done the comparison before and after again this tool is actually really good and probably the safest tool to use to optimize windows because it's made by the really popular youtuber called chris titus plus he's always working on this uh, tool like almost always now maybe some of you guys are wondering where is the debloat option it has a option called remove all ms store apps which says not recommended i also don't recommend remove microsoft edge not recommended but you can do that to actually debloat the uh windows 11 when you're installing the windows 11 you should select the english world option 
and then you know you'll have pretty clean windows install actually so that's what i did uh, for the deep load that's the best thing you can do and probably the safest thing you can do and almost all the apps are actually uh, uninstallable in windows most of the system apps can be uninstalled all right you can see even the camera app is uninstallable okay i'm just gonna uninstall it clip champ just get out so nowadays we don't actually need a deep loading tool for windows all right because again we can just simply uninstall almost everything in windows forget uninstalling microsoft edge unless you live in uh, eu or you can forcefully uninstall microsoft edge if that's what you want let's check on the bing search and start menu yeah it's gone actually we need to search right yeah it doesn't work <laughs> because we disabled it and yeah that's it hope you enjoyed it let me know your thoughts in the comments what do you think about this tool I i'm i'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys already knew about this tool and maybe have been using this tool already but if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun Bye bye